Hey there guys, thanks so much for being here and welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm just going to clean my master bathroom. The bathtub area really isn't all that bad. It's just a little bit dusty around the bathtub on the tiles, but I'm still going to be wiping that down as well as for the bathtub. And then I'm gonna decorate that area. I bought a few things from Walmart. And then I'm also going to be cleaning the shower, which is well overdue, you guys. It's really bad. My husband's a mechanic, so it just gets greasy and just there's soap scum. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the shower curtains. The inner shower curtain is just so scummy and nasty. Uh, so yeah, I will be changing those out. I also got off Amazon a shampoo and conditioner dispenser, which is gonna be an absolute game changer. And I'll show you guys why here in just a minute. But yeah, so if you guys enjoy this sort of content, stick around. So this video is in collaboration with the sweet Tammy Ferns, and I will be sharing you a clip of her channel here in just a moment. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's do this. Hey guys, my name is Tammy, and today over on my channel, I'm doing a whole house disaster clean with me, so I would love it if you guys came over and checked it out when you're done with Farrah's video. I am a homeschooling mama to four wonderful kiddos, and my channel is all about cleaning motivation and home organization, so if that's something that interests you, I would love it if you came over and subscribed. Hey guys, so this is the pile of the items that I got from Walmart and then that is the shampoo and conditioner dispenser for the shower that we will be mounting to the wall. This is the bathtub area and it's pretty dusty as you guys could see. That little mirror um, tray thing is super dusty and it's just there's dust. You can't probably can't see it very well but this whole area is super super dusty. And the bathtub isn't too bad. I'm just going to wipe it down, freshen it up a bit. Uh, but the shower is nasty, you guys. In fact, this is my current situation. Okay, so I buy these professional shampoo and conditioner um, bottles in the gallon size, and they just sit here and collect grease from Keith and then soap scum and this is what we get. This is what happens underneath. Okay, that is just so annoying you guys and this happens so fast. Like we, we, it really hasn't been that long since we cleaned our shower. I would say maybe a month ago we clean. We freshened up, we clean this whole thing right here. We clean this part often because it just gets nasty so fast, but that's just gross. It's almost embarrassing to show you guys, but this is why we bought the shampoo and conditioner dispensers. No more of this, y'all. But the rest of the shower needs to be cleaned too. Just wipe down, it's really not that bad. Just a little bit scummy. Uh, I do see a little bit of grease and like maybe a little bit of a, a little soap scum in these areas. It's kind of dirty right here too, but yeah, so we're just going to freshen the shower up and then I'm going to change out the curtains. I've had this curtain, shower curtain since we moved in, so it's been like four years and I just want a change. And the inner curtain is just nasty. It's like so scummy. I don't know if you guys could see the scum, but it's just gross. There. There's a good shot of the scum, which happens also really, really fast. I'm also going to change out the rug here. I bought a new gray rug. I'm going to be changing the color pattern in here to like pinks and grays with some white and some tan. I just need to change y'all. All right, well, let's get started on this nasty shower. Oh, 
Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna spray the shower down with this Lysol with hydrogen peroxide, and then I'm gonna let it sit while I clean the bathtub area, which should help loosen up some of that grease and soap scum. for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Kept me away from all of my 
So this ended up being a bigger job than expected, y'all. There was so much built up soap scum and grease than I could actually see. I ended up having to scrub the shower, spray more Lysol, scrub some more, and repeat. Turning the shower on with that warm water for a minute or so at a time was also helping to lift that scum. It was a process and much more tedious than what this video implies. What's worse than cleaning out your shower or your bathtub but oh my gosh you guys my arms are shaking I'm my clothes are soaking wet and that took a lot of elbow grease I mean quite literally all thanks to my hubby though he he's worth it but look how clean you guys it was just nasty under this lip here it was just disgusting and it just looks like a nice new shower again so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to change out the shower curtains and then i'm going to start decorating around my bathtub area i know we had problems i thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. Baby, you and me, we're so messed up together. every shower my hair will start to like um, almost get like greasy so I have to every now and then I'll have to like alternate and use a different shampoo and so I'll put all these smaller shampoo bottles and like my face scrubbers you know any kind of face cleansers in here and that's just gonna be so nice they're not gonna be sitting you know there on that step collecting you know getting all scummy and stuff so this is gonna just be so much neater and more organized and cleaner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and this actually attaches to the shower curtain, the inside of the shower curtain. So that is gonna be so nice. Okay, so here's my little shower caddy mesh organizer. I got my shampoos off of the ground that I also got off of the side of the shower wall. 
um, but there's three small pockets and then three larger pockets and then there's a hook on either side. I'll probably be putting the other one in the kids' bathroom. Well, one of their bathrooms anyway. But I'll probably be getting a couple more of these things. These are just super handy. No more scummy shampoo bottles. Show you guys that I also got this shower mat slip proof because I just about slipped the other day when I was trying to shave and that would have been really bad. <laughs> so hopefully this will prevent that from ever happening. To me or to Keith. Also, here is the new shower mat that I got. I love how it's got the little frilly things. It's a little bit smaller than I wanted. I wanted the size up from this, but they didn't have any left. So I will probably be switching it up for a bigger one. But for now, it'll work and I am loving it. So. So I'm gonna fill this bigger glass jar up with some Epsom salt and then the smaller jar with some bath bombs. I thought these roses were the perfect accent to this adorable pitcher and that beautiful pink just really made the area pop. So I just love this aloe vera plant, you guys. I love the little smooth river rocks. So you guys are gonna see a lot of me moving things around and just getting a feel on where I want things in and out of the tub while I stand back to get a better look. Bear with me, guys. It's gotta be perfect.
else loves Dr. Teal's foaming bath? Y'all, eucalyptus and spearmint is my favorite. Y'all, let me know what you think about this pillow. I would love to know your opinion because I'm just still not sure about it. Let me know what you think. Does it stay or does it go? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to head over to Tammy's channel. Love, love her content. Love her style and you will too. And I will leave her channel linked below for you and let her know that Ferris sent you. Find me over on Instagram under supermomof7 and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.